everyone! Welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we're going to be making a spiced cranberry with salt. So when I think about the holidays, wasal is definitely one of those things that we love to have. We love to have a nice warm drink and to celebrate the holidays, we use this for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This can be done a bunch of different ways. This is an old European type drink and it's really delicious. And we're just going to use a few simple ingredients to make this. It's really quick and easy to put together and it doesn't take long at all. And you could be sipping something warm and probably 35, 40 minutes. So we're going to use two bags of fresh cranberries for this. Um, a half a lemon, an orange, and a few spices from the pantry. Cinnamon, ginger, allspice, cloves. Mmm. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is really simple and easy, and you can make this about a week in advance, which is great, and just heat it up if you like it warm. So I've just taken my two bags of cranberries, and we've just culled through them to make sure we got any squishy ones out or ones that didn't look wonderful. And we're gonna give them a good rinse, and then we're going to put them right into the pot. And I'm gonna add about eight cups of water to this because we want to make a nice big batch. So there's a little for everybody. We all love this. It's a, such a warm spiced cranberry drink. We just love this. And it's so easy to make and wonderful for the holidays. So I'm gonna turn this on about, oh, a little higher than a medium heat, medium high. And we wanna bring this up to a boil. We wanna get these to pop these cranberries. So while we're heating up our cranberries, I have just sliced up a half a lemon and I'm gonna throw those right in. You wanna give these a good wash. We like to make sure they're organic because you know who knows what they're spraying, but even organic's not 100%. And we've also sliced up one whole orange because the orange and cranberry flavor together is just delicious. And you could peel your orange or and just put some of the zest in, or you can do it any way you want. We just put the whole thing right in there because it's simple and easy, and this makes this so delicious. And then we're gonna start adding our spices also while this is heating up. And I'm gonna put in two, I don't know, I think these are about, five inch cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna put two of those in there. And so it has a nice cinnamon flavor. And then I also like to add, I don't know, about maybe 10 allspice berries, just whole ones, so put those right in. You can put your spices in a little bag if you don't want them floating around, but I like to just throw it all in and strain it out at the end. And then we're gonna throw in, oh, probably 10 or so, 12 cloves, whole cloves. I like to throw those right in there. That's gonna be delicious. And then I'm also gonna add some dried ginger or you could use fresh ginger as well. Maybe a tablespoon or so. We don't want it too spicy for the kiddos, but it definitely gives it a nice taste. And then you can use a half cup to a cup of sugar depending on how sweet you like your drink. And we'll test that out towards the end, but I've got a little over a half a cup there. And we're just gonna give this a stir. And we wanna bring this just up to a boil, not too much. We just want these cranberries to pop. We don't want, we don't wanna cook it for a real long time, but we're gonna turn it down once it's boiling and uh, simmer it just till those cranberries are popping. But this is so delicious and yummy. Look at all that goodness. And your house will smell absolutely amazing. So we're just gonna let this come up to a boil and I'll bring you back. Okay, so this is just starting to bubble and I don't like to boil this too vigorously. Um, I wanna just, I'm starting to hear the cranberries pop. 
and they're splitting open. You can see a few of them are starting to pop here, and which is going to release all those juices into the liquid, which is wonderful. So I'm going to turn this down, give it a good stir, and we're going to turn it down. We're going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes or so, and um, it will be just about ready then. So, but I wanted to mention on the sugar, I know a lot of people can't eat sugar, so that's not really a problem. You can use whatever sweetener you like. This has been done traditionally with, you know, regular white sugar, maple syrup. Um, they have used honey. You could use um, also some molasses. A lot of people like that old time flavor of molasses in there. Um, it's totally up to you. Brown sugar would work as well. Whatever it is, I'm sure you could use artificial sweetener if that's what you need to use. Um, just adjust it to your taste, definitely. So we're just going to let this simmer really low for about 20 minutes and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so this has been simmering for about 20 minutes and our cranberries have popped. You can see the liquid has become a beautiful cranberry color. It looks so good and this smells so, so delicious. Yummy. We're just going to give a quick taste of the liquid and see if the sugar, how the sugar is. I just put a little on my finger oh it's a little tart still i'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar to this and depending on your cranberries is really going to matter how much sugar you put in this i'm not going to put a whole lot maybe a couple tablespoons in there just and i'm going to use brown sugar just to give it that little extra flavor and then we are going to turn this off and let it cool down a little bit and let that sugar dissolve and then we're going to strain it out. So I've just run a little bit of hot water. This is still pretty warm because I'm going to have a glass of this right now. And um, But I've run some hot water through my jars just so there's no thermal shock or anything. And the jars are warmed up a little. And I just take this and run this right through a small strainer right into the jar. And this is so yummy and delicious. And I just press it down a little bit and try to squeeze all that out of there so we get as much as we can. Then you can take your berries and put them in the compost or my chickens really love to eat this stuff. <laughs> they can't get enough of the fresh fruits and veggies and all that stuff so and we're just going to keep doing this until we get it all in the jars and I'm going to reserve about one cup for me for right now and then we can heat this up anytime you want um, as much as you want at a time if you only want a glass at a time you can just warm it up in a saucepan or the microwave or however you want and this is just so delicious and what a nice way to celebrate the season with something warm and yummy. And that's it. Spiced cranberry with salt is super simple and easy to make. You can put a little fresh piece of orange in there like I have and a little cinnamon stick to stir. I threw a couple cranberries in, some fresh ones, just to make it cute. And you can drink this warm or cold. It is so nice on a cold winter day. Mm. Mm. All those flavors just blend so nicely together. And you can adjust your sweetener however you like it. If you like a little hot toddy, you can add some brandy, spiced rum, whatever you like in there. It really makes it nice and delicious. And that's it. I hope you all are having a beautiful holiday season and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.